Hi YouTube, this is Archangel Warrior Christine Pence coming at you again. Um, if you're wondering why I do the long pause at the beginning of the video, it's because YouTube is always cutting my videos short from the beginning and the end. So I wait a few seconds before I start talking to make sure that it captures everything I say. Um, I wasn't expecting to come on here because God did something. And I have to share with you what he just did. God used me just now. And I know that was him. I was outside and a homeless woman passed by. Her name was Donna, she said. I don't know if she's one of my stalkers or not. She said something about following me around and uh, monitoring me. But I was talking to her about Christ and about Satan, about how the difference is and, and God's coming back for his people. And if she, which I tried to give her a Bible and she didn't want it. Uh, and she wanted me to come by her place sometime, which I won't do it for a soda. But I was just preaching to her about Christ. And all of a sudden, it's like God took control. And it's like I was plant. You, the Lord used me to plant seeds in this woman because she knew nothing about the Bible, nothing about Christ, nothing about uh, Satan. And I was explaining it to her. And she's like, well, there's people in the world that are better than us. Those that are like, you know, she talked about the Hollywood officials. And I told her, no, no one's better than the other. I said, in the eyes of God, we're all equal. And she was questioning. She goes, well, is there really maybe a God? I said, there is a God. And that's the second time the Lord has used me. And I felt it strongly. That was him. And we talked about Bible, scripture, uh, repentance. And she goes, well, I don't want to be a part of a religion. I says, God doesn't care about the religious. He laughs at the religious. What he wants is a relationship with you. And so I told her, I said, all you need is a Bible and prayer and just sit in a room by yourself or wherever you're at and just talk to him. And her name is Donna. So you can pray for her if you like that the Lord, that the, the seeds that he had me plant in her heart, that the Lord will use them when his will with her life is correct. But she was a homeless woman and I felt bad for her and I didn't have anything to give her. Um, I'm broke for the month, so I don't have any money. So we were talking and I said, you know, I think the Lord had us cross paths for a reason so that I could tell you this message. And she was talking about Satan. And I said, you know what? I said, these kingdoms in this world do belong to Satan, but God's going to wipe them away. And I said, Satan's not God. He's a fallen angel. And she looked at me and I said, angels are weaker than God because God created them. The, the most powerful angel, no matter what powerful angel God created, they cannot equal or surpass the power of God. They are the small fry. And God woke me up this morning with complete clarity of difference, of the differences between Satan and him. That Satan is truly the small fry, and he's not a god at all. Just as the Bible says, he's nothing more than a very strong power. Uh, a fallen angel that God created, but he's not strong enough to overpower or equal God, even though he's trying. And I came on here because I felt like I had to share this um, message because uh, what just happened, because God just used me and I wanted to share. But we, we were talking for a little bit. Well, a couple of my neighbors passed by that were Christians and they were talking and, and uh, she declined the Bible and we were talking about the return of Christ, he's coming for his people, about he's coming now. It's like, choose a side, pick a side. Um, she listened, and she goes, yeah, I really do need to try to get right with God if there is a God. I said, there is a God. But the Lord used me to plant seeds in this woman, and I'm grateful that he used me, and I did not expect it. I just saw this homeless woman coming through. Um, I didn't expect her to talk to me, and she started talking to me, and then she said something about, that she was following me around for some reason and, and monitoring me and she wouldn't be doing it because I guess of her living situation, but that's still no reason to gang stalk people or try to kill them. But I want you to know um, from uh, someone I'm subscribed to that for those of us who are doing the Lord's work, we have to keep our armor up and we have to stay very, very close to God because we are teetering on new and dangerous grounds that probably very few saints have come this far because Satan is out to kill us. He wants us dead and he's out to eliminate us. One person was warned the other night by God and she's not worried about it. And I understand, but I'm just uh, passing this on because after what the Lord used me for, I know without the shadow of a doubt, Satan has wanted me dead for a long time too. 
and that's increasing. He's out to get us. So we need to not be careful when we're out and about, even in our own homes and pray over ourselves in our homes, like always stay in scripture and make sure that we don't give Satan the benefit of the doubt where he can take us out and kill us because God doesn't want that. He wants to go in the rapture, uh, in the translation, um, as Enoch walkers, he doesn't want us to, uh, be killed off. He wants us to go to the marriage supper. So I came on here today to share this. I figured it was a better way to reach my subscribers than individually. So I hope you're all doing well today. And, uh, I just feel, uh, thrilled that God used me in a, uh, in a big way for someone that whether they were a stalker of mine or not, because they made that comment, they were open to hearing what I had to say. And uh, I will never go to this person's house when she told me her address. I won't even remember it. But hopefully, you know, she will find God before the tribulation because we know time's up and there's not much time left. There's no more time left. And for those out there who need to repent, come back to God and have him come into their heart and ask for forgiveness. Now is the time. And uh, stop putting Satan on a pedestal because he's not God. He's a fallen angel. And yes, he can kill us. But we have to stay close to God for protection and stay in prayer and stay in scripture because the Bible is our sword. And I think and I'm pretty sure the, the shield is the prayers. So keep uh, in prayer. And the Lord is our shield and buckler. He's there. He's our provider. He's our husband. He's our friend. He's our protector. He's our God. So stay in prayer, my friends. God bless you. I love you all. And thank you. And I just wanted to share this with you.